Uh, Ms. P said, it was actually something that wasn't even a scheduled hot take, but it was about salvation. And a lot of people uh, view salvation differently. Some think they can lose their salvation and others don't. What are your thoughts? Woo! That's definitely one that'll stir some people up and, and get a little spicy. Yeah, so, in fact, before I uh, give my thoughts, um, we've done a, a whole deep dive study on the stream before looking at every verse that talks about um, the ideas of uh, uh, apostasy and the idea of can you lose your salvation, uh, all the verses that have to do with um, not being able to lose your salvation. We talked about the ideas of once saved, always saved, easy believism, perseverance of the saints, and apostasy, and how does all this balance out? Because we know scripture isn't going to contradict strict uh, scripture, so it's all true. How do we reconcile things that seem to be juxtaposed. Uh, how do we reconcile the two? And I believe whenever we look at everything in context, um, that we do get a clear answer. I'll give you my thought where I stand on it. Um, <clears throat> the verses that talk about apostasy are there for a reason, give very strong, deliberate warnings. I think they're, they're more closely tied to things like the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit than we give them credit for. Um, <clears throat> but the most compelling evidence to me in that whole thing, uh, and why I lean on the idea that you cannot lose your salvation is simply because of the way the Bible talks about eternal life and when specifically when it begins. Uh, so many of the scriptures that talk about how we, we are given eternal life are present tense. Um, so the idea that when we're saved, when we're born again, when we repent, put our faith in Christ, and we are made new, we are born again, we are regenerated, whatever word you want to use, that we are given eternal life. Not that it's uh, only a future hope, which it is a future hope, but that it's also a present reality. Yes, our physical body is mortal. It will die. We've got a 100% mortality rate outside of Enoch and Elijah going, <laughs> but um, that... Uh, we have been given eternal life and that we will see the resurrection, all those kind of things. Um, so while those warnings are there and they're very strong and they should be uh, looked at and everything, um, I think the, the majority of biblical evidence says that we cannot lose our salvation. Um, there is like the conversation, can you forfeit your salvation? Uh, you know, and still I, I hold... You can't be unborn again, if that makes sense, that you are given eternal life. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to have this, you know, perfect life and sanctification is going to be a smooth road. No, there's a lot of people who they have their Jonah time and they run and they're stupid and they're running back to things in the world. But the whole time, those people who have truly been saved and born again, they can't ever really enjoy that life. They're eaten up with conviction the rest of their life. They're just the Holy Spirit's drawing on them and working on them. And inevitably, we always see those people have that prodigal son moment and come running back to the Father who's just right there with the open arms, you know. So that's that's my take on the hot take conversation. <laughs> that was definitely, I, without even being there, I know that one was a spicy one. That's really cool. <laughs>